Welcome to this video tutorial on how to cut a 3D terrain model into contours to create a laser cutting file. To start with I've made this simple terrain model with a few excavations in here and I've modelled this at a 1 to 1 scale so this is actually 100 metres by 100 metres long. Now for my contour model I actually want to make this at a 1 to 100 scale so I want it to be 100 times smaller. So to start with I'm just going to scale this by 0.01 to make it 100 times smaller. To do this, I'm going to select the model, click on the scale tool, hit enter to scale it from the center point, and type in 0.01 into my reference point to scale it at a 1 to 100 scale. I'm then going to use the zoom selected tool to zoom in on that model. Now in order to cut this model into contours, I'm going to first make a contours layer in my layer panel. I'm going to select that layer and then I'm going to select my model and type in contour to use the contour command. With that command selected, I first need to select a base point, which I'm going to choose as the bottom point of a model, and then I need to select a direction perpendicular to that to set the direction my contours are going to be cut. Now I want my contours to be cut from the bottom to the top of my model, so I'm going to select the point directly above that base point. For the distance between the contours, this should be the distance and the thickness of the card or material that you're going to make your contour model from. For mine, I'm going to make mine quite thick, so I'm going to make it out of 10 millimeter thick pieces of card. So I'm going to type in 10 into this option here and then hit enter. You'll then see that the command will then chop up the model in 10 millimeter increments or whatever increment you set in order to create your contour file. I'm now going to move this just away from my model so we can see it separately. Now if you want to have a look and see what your contour model is going to look like when you make it physically, you can always extrude these lines up to see what it looks like in 3D. So we're going to just select these lines. I've got a little test layer here and we're going to just type in extrude curve to extrude these and we're going to extrude these by 10 millimeters like so. And this gives us a little view of what our contour model is going to look like once we make it. We can always put it on rendered to have a look and see. And for me, I think that's going to be fine from this particular application. So once you've tested it, we then just need to set up our contour lines to be spaced out so we can use them as a laser cutting file. Now there are a few ways you can do this. You can actually space out lines quickly just using this alignment tool here and we can distribute objects along here. Now the problem with this tool is, as you see, if I slip this, choose the Y axis, it will distribute these pieces nicely, but it doesn't actually keep the order of them. And it slightly mixes up the order sometimes and it can be quite hard to track these. And then you might have a job of ordering them back. So if you've got a simple file, this distribute option works quite well. If yours is a little bit more complex, I'm just gonna undo that there. You might want to just space it out by eye, just doing this in a manual method. This takes a little bit longer, but we can be sure that everything is spaced out correctly. So I'm just going to select the right hand view so we can see the model here from the right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to deselect each layer in turn, just holding down the control key to deselect a layer. And we're going to move them along, just spacing these out one by one. And we're just going to do this quite methodically just to evenly space out our file. Now this is a little bit slow if you've got a few files, but you can be 100% sure that these are accurately spaced out. So I'd recommend if you've got a few pieces and you want to make sure you're kind of keeping track of them, that you do it in this method. Now for this video, I'm just going to speed this up a little bit so we can get to the next step. Now we've spaced each of these pieces out, if I then go back to my perspective view, we can see these all laid out perfectly in order. And each of these is the exact level that we have there as well, which is useful to know. Now it may be as you're kind of scaling up through the file that you have some pieces like these that are kind of floating and when we cut them out it might be quite hard to align them back to the previous piece. If you have these, what I usually do is just create a new layer and we're going to call this engrave and this can be set in your laser cutting file to not cut through the object but just to engrave it what we can then do is just create a copy of those pieces i'm going to take the corner to align them and i'm going to move it over to the previous piece we're then going to take that object 
and we're going to set it on to that engrave file there. And what this would do is it will cut out our object, but it will also engrave in the outline for the next piece. And this can be quite helpful just so we know exactly where these pieces are going to sit on the next model. So I'm just going to do that for a few of these, just so we kind of can track that particular placement of those objects like so. And then we'll set those again back to that engrave file. So now we've got our layout, what you might also want to do is just select all of these and if you want to flatten them so they're all on the same level, it's quite hard to see but they're kind of stepping up incrementally here, we can just type in set PT to flatten those down and align it to the Z axis like so and there we flatten those files out. Now one more thing you may want to do is label each of these or rearrange them so they're kind of nice and nested so we can save space when cutting those files out. And from this you can then put this into a laser cutter, set the line weight to cut, and you can cut this out and make it into a physical terrain model. So that was just a quick video tutorial in how you can take a 3D terrain model and turn it into a laser cutting file using the contour command. I hope you found this video tutorial useful and if you want to watch any of our videos on modeling or rendering in Rhino, please do check out the videos on the channel. Thanks for watching.